we also don't have another planet to go to. And I think that's why as a clinician, there's a particularly important role for us because it's like taking care of a patient. We recognize that, you know, if I have a baby that I'm taking care of who's a month of age or less, that baby has a fever like the planet. Um, I don't presume that everything's going to be okay down the road. I know based upon evidence that there's about a 10% chance that there's a bacterial infection causing that fever. The vast majority of those are from urinary tract infections. Those are bad. They're not necessarily life-threatening. We got some time, but there's a small percentage of them of bloodstream infections and meningitis that they'll kill that child. And so what do we do? Well, even though the chances are probably around maybe two, 1%, we do all the tests we can possibly do to make sure there's no bacteria in that child's body. And we give antibiotics before we know the answer. Why? Because waiting for the answer is malpractice. We would be sued. Well, think about that in the context of the planet. Right now, we have one planet, last I checked. And we know that biodiversity is disappearing, as I alluded to, at an unprecedented rate. The climate is being pushed to a place that we, frankly, have never survived. And that looks a lot to me like a, an infant with a fever. And so, you know, whatever the badness ahead is, and we can talk a lot about how bad it's going to be, but it's pretty clear it's going to be plenty bad to justify doing the things that we already know how to do right now <laughs> to get rid of the problems that are already affecting us, even if climate change weren't happening.